I'm going to show you how to make the most beautiful, tender, glazed, sticky ribs. So, so good. Of course, it looks big, but you know, most of this is bone, right? So I've got these lovely baby backs from the butcher. So get yourself some salt and just sprinkle some of that over the top. Then we've got some pepper. And then we've got about two teaspoons of our five spice. We have a good little drizzle of olive oil. And then we're gonna use our hands to really rub that in. And then we'll turn it around and we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so get those ribs, smiley side up. And then the last one, I'll put smiley side down. Um, they'll cook in an oven at about 160 degrees Celsius for about three hours until you can pinch it and it's tender. Then, then it's ready to glaze. Now, to add a little bit of moisture, humidity to this sort of environment and flavor, we're gonna take a couple of oranges. So just cut an orange in half and lay it like this, you know, with a little bit of hydration, water or juice, right? This will go tender, they'll melt, they'll be absolutely sublime. Now the next thing and the last thing is garlic. So get a whole bulb, yes, a whole bulb of garlic, um, cut it in half, get those cloves, skin on, in that time of cooking, they'll go creamy and caramelized, and I'll use this garlic later to make the most incredible glaze. So, so tasty. So guys, that is literally it. All I have to do now is wrap it up in some foil, like that, sling this in the oven, in we go, and then I'll show you what to do next. Right, the ribs have had three hours and they smell incredible. <laughs> right, if you have a look in this, you can see the bones have just retracted a little bit. And that really is telling us that the inside is tender and delicious. Look at that. And look, the oranges, as hot as they are, they've gone jammy. And if you squeeze them, juice. So, so far we've earned flavor and we've earned tenderness. I'll squeeze the juice out of the orange. Look at that. And then the garlic, have a look at this. Just squeeze that out of the skin. Get a fork. I just want to fork up the garlic. We'll get all the sticky bits of goodness off the bottom like that. I'm going to put this tray straight on the coals and let's get it sort of like simmering up. So as this comes up to a boil, I'm then going to go in with the hoisin sauce. So bring this to a simmer. Look at that. Once it looks shiny and thick, so you know it's going to stick to those ribs, then we can remove this and we can use it. What I want to do is push the coals all the way up the side and not have too many coals in the middle. So up the sides we go and then I'm going to put these bars back on top. I often use a rosemary or a thyme brush. You can take these. We can dunk it straight in and literally move it around. So I'll take my rosemary brush and I'm going to generously baste it with that incredible sauce. Look at that. When the temperature from these barbecue has subsided, will go in the middle of the barbecue. These ribs are already cooked. They don't need more cooking. What they need is just a little heat. Glaze is on, lid is on. If you want to put a few herbs in there or a few wood chips in there to get it smoky, you can. I've got some jasmine rice. Just cook it according to the packet instructions. Now, the moment of truth. Look at that. So let's plate this up onto a nice board. That, my friends, is a thing of joy. You can put that over your rice. Time to plate one up, I reckon. Get in there, through the ribs, in between. Sticky jasmine rice. Look at that. Let's have a little go of these. Mmm. It's so good, so tender. Buddy, do you want some ribs? <laughs> what do you reckon, buds? Really good. You love ribs, don't you? Yeah. Have a bit of chilli with it. Slowly, slowly, every now and again, I catch them out with a good one. Hot. <laughs> Give me salad. Bit of fennel, yeah, that's what you're at. So look, lovely people, that is so easy. Remember, it was just the rub up and the slow cook. Then the glaze up, crunchy salad, bit of rice. It's messy, it's sticky, it's gorgeous. It's really fun food. And I think you should have a go. Buds, did you like that? Yeah. Even the chilli? No, not really. But other than that, everything good? Yeah. 
great. So go on, guys. Have a go.